on Jesse's channel was kind of the kickstart as a storyfire. So yeah, the big question. Do I think Storyfire is going to beat YouTube? No. Ah, it's one of these videos again. Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to another sort of sit-down video that I'm doing right now. I mean, it's becoming kind of a regular thing now. So today's video, if you've looked at the title of this video, is about McJuggernuggets. And I haven't really done a video explaining about McJuggernuggets, um, talking about Storyfire, and my thoughts on it. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of other creators have sort of expressed their thoughts on this. Um, these may include like um, multiple different creators, like maybe even even like Psycho Dad is doing videos about Storyfire and what he thinks of it, and it's like what? So I'm gonna be basically saying my opinions on Storyfire and addressing this entire thing. Yeah. Let's get into this video. So you guys may be wondering, who is this McJuggernuggets that you're talking about? And like, what is Storyfire? And literally, I'm going to just be completely honest with this and stuff. And I'm going to tell you from where I found McJuggernuggets. Anyway, so McJuggernuggets was basically a YouTube channel that made skits and series and vlogs and stuff like that. And um, he had made a few series... Um, with his family in the past, but the one that really, really took off to hit him millions and millions of views online was the Psycho series, which everyone thought was weird, real, including me at most some points in the entire series. Um, where basically his dad would break things, um, and this was a whole series. <laughs> literally coming into school and talking to my friend Luke about this, by the way, Luke Hodge, subscribe, um, and McJuggernaut gets subscribed too. Um, and yeah, we talk about um, McJuggernaut, literally. We talk about the Psycho series, because there was two videos coming out a day at some point in the Psycho series. So, 
it was content every single day. So every single day we'd come into school and catch up with what we thought of the Psycho series. Anyway, after the Psycho series ended, um, Jesse then started this whole vlog thing and did these like devil inside stuff. Um, which, um, I'm gonna be honest, Jesse is a good reason to inspire some of my content, including some of the psycho videos that I did was definitely inspired by him, and this Devil Inside documentary that I did was also inspired by him. Um, because, to be completely honest, he was one of them YouTubers that literally got me doing YouTube today. Anyway, besides that, he finished the Psycho series, it became it came out as fake, and he started doing this Devil Inside series, and then after this happened, and that came out as fake, um, he done an array of different series, but then his next biggest one was My Virtual Escape. Which again, kind of gave me inspiration to create my first cinematic series. So my virtual escape on Jesse's channel was kind of the kickstart as a story fire. Where he made this new platform which we could view the series on, which he then said was for storytelling. So you could write your own stories on it and it's good. I've wrote a few stories on there as well. Uh, Dan BYT official <laughs> on Storyfire. Anyway, so that's Storyfire. And obviously, Jesse brought video to the platform, and you kind of have to unlock video, which is kind of one of the bugs, but I can kind of get where it's coming from because they have to manually review every video on there, and YouTube kind of has a review team. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, but yeah, that's who McJuggernaut is, and that's Storyfire. Storyfire is a creating platform for, for creators um, to create series or vlogs and stuff like that. Now, originally, I got the impression that Storyfire was for more series-based stuff, more cinematic stuff, and stuff that would be, you know, above the content on YouTube. Not like vlogs and stuff like that, literally, you know, the whole kind of point of Storyfire was to, to create quality content, you know. It's like, not sit down videos like this. So yeah, having said that, there have been a few creators on Storyfire, and by a few I mean a lot of new creators have joined the platform, and many are still sort of balancing between the two. Um, using YouTube and Storyfire to upload, like, Kid Behind the Camera um, uploads between the two. Um, Jesse is the first YouTuber, well, I'm pretty sure he was one of the first ones to go over fully on Storyfire now, uh, with Psycho Dad taking over his YouTube channel. <laughs> and he's kind of voiced his opinion on Storyfire and whether it's going to beat YouTube, and I'm going to voice my opinion right now. So yeah, the big question. Do I think Storyfire is going to beat YouTube? No. And that's kind of the short answer, but the long answer is definitely not at the moment. Um, because YouTube obviously has had time to grow. It's a huge, huge, multi-billion dollar company. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, don't quote me on that. Um, and yeah, Storyfire has only had like a few million put into the company. Compared to YouTube, that's obviously a huge difference. Along with users as well. Um, it could definitely grow. And it definitely could get up there. I know it's partnered with Social Blade now, which is definitely a big step in the right direction. But if 
it was going to get anywhere near YouTube, it would take a long, long time. Like, a few years at least, like, ten years or something like that. So yeah, guys, um, that was kind of that video about McJuggernuggets and Storyfire, and I just kind of wanted to voice my opinion. Um, I'm not anti-Storyfire, I'm not, I'm not, like, anti-Storyfire, but also I'm not 100% like, yeah, it's gonna beat YouTube, like, tomorrow or anything like that, because it just won't, that is the truth in it. But, um, I still have faith in the platform, I will still be continuing to upload to the platform, um, I have, um, entered in for video, but, um, haven't had anything back yet. All the creators that I've seen with the video have kind of been seen before, or, like, well-known in the community and stuff, but, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, that is this video, um about Storyfire. Um, yeah, this is the Storyfire shirt I'm wearing. So yeah, it's only fair that I plug the, uh, the app right here, so download Storyfire, um, and show your support with that. Um, I'm all down for new businesses, and I'm, I'm creating Darren B Enterprises at the moment, um, so obviously I'm looking up to Jesse as how to do, like, business tips and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, Download Storyfire. Also, subscribe to this channel if you are new. Um, please smash a like on this video as well. And comment down below what you guys think about Storyfire. And whether you think it's going to succeed. And how big you think it could potentially get. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. And peace.